It's a major, major surgery. I can't bend down. I can't shower myself. I'm in so much pain. Danielle, not Danielle. very complete because I'm like I'm I'm sticking to my commitments I really hope that my camera doesn't fall off of this thing because the people on TikTok they be lying I mean it feels sturdy it feels like it'll stick hold on hold on guys it's so sunny today it's like unseasonably warm I have on Uggs and I feel stupid it's so freaking hot it's so hot Welcome morning is real. On today's vlog, you will be going along with me to Ulta. While I drive, let me just quickly finish my video. My TikTok video. Okay, so I am turning and it is staying. So far, so good. <laughs> so far, so good. Um Honestly, I don't really know what I'm doing with TikTok. I, over the Christmas break, the Christmas week, I um, was on TikTok and I was doing the black girl follow train and I gained some follows. Since I got distracted, I'm driving, it's actually sticking. You know, some of the like what people stay. It's one lane, and you know it's one lane. Why are you trying to overtake? Where are you going? Come on, B F F R. I still consider myself in my postpartum phase with um, baby Akil, my little pango. Um, he's one. Um, he officially he's 13 months so I realized that when I had rain I dealt with postpartum depression but because rain was born sick everything that I felt like I pushed it aside you really don't know what you're getting into when you um, decide to have a child or I realized after having rain a lot of things you know I thought that I knew a lot before I had her and when I had her I realized that there's a lot to learn there's a lot that I didn't know. Yeah, I realized that I was dealing with postpartum depression both times, but it didn't, it took until having a keel for me to recognize that and to own that. I went through postpartum depression with rain because I was dealing with postpartum depression with a keel. Mm. Specifically, it's because I had C sections both times. And in my first C section, I was a very small. Um, I, obviously I was way younger so I was very small um, that was my first pregnancy and the doctor said you know I healed up quickly and well and I went back down whatever but I didn't like I was left with that hanging pouch and although I was small I had that hanging pouch and because I was so small my stomach looked huge in um, proportion to my body and that made me feel very depressed with a keel my husband helped me a lot this c-section is major surgery it's major major surgery seeing my body afterwards like swollen and not going down and not to be it's not I'm not being vain when I say these things because you'll have women who are like or I'm so thankful and you know like yes I am so thankful that everything worked out good and that my baby was healthy it's all great but it still does not take away from the fact that like you literally you were cut open and sewed back up and now I'm left to heal and take care of this baby while healing and I'm in pain I can't bend down I can't shower myself 
I'm in so much pain. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. It literally, like, almost drove me crazy. And then, for me, um, specifically, I could not lose weight. I was breastfeeding and everyone's like, oh, you breastfeed. Um, your uterus is going to contract. Um, I didn't see that. And I was swelling up. I was like... I was so scared like I thought something was wrong with me because I was swelling up when I was supposed to be shrinking my legs I was I was literally just so scared it was all of this information and then you're told to rest and it was so much like so fucking much it was crazy there was a point where I think the baby was like two months or something he was breastfeeding fine and then like my breast became engorged because he was drinking the milk that was spilling out but not um <sighs> like the milk wasn't coming out like he wasn't the deep thing that they say like the baby has to hold on like the whole thing and then actually be sucking the milk wasn't doing that and I didn't know because so much, I had so much milk <laughs> oh my god like I had so much freaking milk so I didn't know I was in so much pain I was in so much pain and I like vowed that I wouldn't um, have another child again but then sometimes I go back and forth because children are beautiful like the point of me really sharing that is just to encourage any mother who feels like odd for feeling like any feelings because you're hearing like society tell you oh it should be this way and whatever but you don't feel that way like your experience is so unique when you become a mom or when you are a mom or the first time mom second time mom whatever um you just have to block all of that out and i think it's almost one o'clock which is crazy i don't want to call him because i'm actually actually getting something for him I want it to be a surprise one thing about um, this place that I don't like is driving uphill <laughs> so I have another irrational fear driving up the hill and then the car sliding back what like <laughs> Whenever I have to go up the hill and stop at the top of the hill or something or any part of the hill, I my foot just sink on e not a break because it's like yo, I'm gonna slide back. Like <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Am I the only one? I can't be the only one. Okay. I cannot be the only one. So I avoid going like routes that I know there's a hill. Oh my goodness, let me tell you. I, I had this bald patch over here um, after Akio. Um, I want to say when he was like three months, and that's when I started noticing it. At the front of my head. And I was like, oh my god, am I going to be one of those people that lose their hair after giving birth? Everything that didn't reach me when I had brain, except for the, the postpartum depression reached me when I had Akio. And I was like, what the? Um, I'm about to go into Ulta. I can't, I literally can't believe that stayed on. Like, I am so impressed. All right, we're gonna go um, to the mall now. Oh, I'm just wearing full black. And these Uggs that my friend gave me, so nice of her. asked me to get something for her so <laughs> let me see if they have it sorry I will get a new camera soon just bear with me I'm gonna get rain this 
the sheet mat. All right, let me go pick up my order and go home. I'm acting like I don't need to go home. I'm leaving. I actually, I came to pick up this thing that I ordered for Abby. That's why I don't want to. I hope that I get home before he does <laughs> because I don't want him to know that I left the house. <laughs> um, yeah, because then he's going to be asking me where I, where I went and he's going to want to see what I got and that will ruin the surprise. But I'm just walking back to the car now. Lay on my hair. I'm not good with the edges. But just I try. I used Jackie's on, yeah, on Jackie's something curling cream, the purple one. That's what I always use though. It, and I only had a little bit in the bottle because it's. <laughs> He's calling me! I knew it. Hello? Hi, babe. Mom, Tia. Oh my god. <laughs> I was worried, babe. What's up? This is gonna be my year. That quantum leap is this year. Yeah.